guys, this is Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial. And today we'll be recreating the color splash effect. So we'll be taking this original image here that I made in Blender. And I'll put the link in the description below if you want to use this. And we're going to isolate just this green color here to make it look like this. So to do that, we're just going to delete this cube and lamp. And I'll go to Front View, Orthographic, and then press Control, Alt, and 0 on the numpad to snap the camera to view. Now I'm going to press N to bring up this Properties tab, open up Background Images, and add the image that we'll be using. You can use any image you want, but for the tutorial I'm just using this. So to create just uh, this area that's only green, we're going to be using a mask to isolate only the monkey. And to do that, you could add a plane and uh, extrude the faces around the object and then fill in the face and give it a pure white material. But I found that with complex objects like this, where there's a lot of ridges and stuff, it's best to use a curve. So I'll press Shift-A, Curve, and Path. And we're going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees. And I'll just move it over here and tab into edit mode and start moving these vertices around. And the reason we use a curve is because when we switch it to 2D over here, after you connect all the faces, it'll automatically, or after you connect all the vertices, it'll automatically create the face. And we don't have to worry about filling in the vertices. But if we were using a plane, when we get to uh, these shapes here and we create the entire thing, if we press F to create a full face, there will be overlapping edges here and it won't work right. So that's why I like to use the curve. So I'm just going to go around and uh, extrude all along the edges of this shape. And I'll pause the video and come back when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see, I've extruded all along the edges of the monkey. And right here, I'm just going to select the first and last vertice and press F to fill it in. And now you can see that our monkey has generated, or our curve has generated a plane. If we were using the plane uh, mesh, then there would be overlapping faces here and it just wouldn't work. So now what we want to do is give this a shadeless white material. So I'm just going to make it white, click shadeless. And we're going to change the background color to black and then just render this image out. Okay, so now we have our mask. So we'll jump into the compositor, check use nodes and backdrop, and you can make it full screen by pressing control and up arrow. Press control, shift, and left click to bring up the rear node. And then I'm going to press shift A, input image, and bring in the image that we want to change. Well, that's not it. There. Okay. And to create our effect, we're going to be using a multiply node. So I'll press Shift A, color mix, and we'll switch it to multiply. Whoops. And I'll plug in the original image. And then we're going to do this again. So I'll just duplicate it and then plug both of them in. But for this one, we're going to press Shift A, color, and add an invert node and plug our mask into it and then plug it into the multiply node. So what this does is it makes everything else white and the monkey face black. So that way everything shows except for our monkey. And to make this image black and white we can press Shift A, Converter, and then RGB to black and white. And then to combine the two images just duplicate the multiply node, plug in both images, and then set the blending mode to add. And plug it into the compositor and render out the image again. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial on how to create a color splash effect inside of Blender. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please share your results in the comments below. And if you have any other suggestions for a Photoshop effect you want to see done in Blender, just leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.